Hi there, I'm Thelonious Chunk, and this is the Motorola Edge X30, aka the first Android phone with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. I picked this up at GizStop via the link in the description for about $599 plus shipping and handling. I'm really excited about this phone, mainly due to the specs. The new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor is going to be the main for most high-end Android smartphones of 2022, and I'm glad I'm able to put it through some early paces. This phone also carries a rear triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main sensor and a 60 megapixel front facing camera. For SKU options, we have eight or 12 gigs of RAM and or 128, 256 gigs of turbo UFS 3.1 storage. Both of these are only available in this very pretty blue. The phone contains a huge 5,000 milliamp hour battery capable of 68 watt turbo power fast charging and is running MyUI 3.0 based on Android 12. This also seems to be the only phone with Android 12 out of the box with this new processor. While this is a Chinese edition, it comes pre-installed with full Google mobile service and with Google Play Store with support for OTA updating. One of the first things I received when turning on the phone was a UI update. In the box, we have an included case, the phone, the USB-A to Type-C cable, and a charging brick. No headphone jack or wireless charging here, but honestly, I don't see that bothering me much. The skin on the device is close to stock Android. Motorola says it is lighter and more efficient. In all honesty, I'm not too fond of the UI skin, and we'll probably just throw Z Launcher Beta on it, but it's not offensive for day-to-day -day use. My first impressions on this phone are twofold. The finish feels great in the hands with a kind of glossy matte finish and for some reason makes me miss having a flat display. Using my Fold 3 as my daily driver and my OnePlus 8 Pro as a backup, I seem to prefer it to the curved display. At the top, we have a single microphone that doubles as a speaker. At the bottom, we have the dedicated speaker along with the USB-C port and SIM card tray. On the right, there's a volume rocker and the power button with built-in fingerprint scanner, which I approve of. And on the left, we have a programmable button that I currently have mapped as a video shortcut, but can also be used for other things, such as games, apps, contacts, and etc. The fingerprint scanner is pretty nice, as well as being very responsive. It reminds me of how much I enjoy this currently on my Fold 3 as opposed to when I switch back to my 8 Pro. I am definitely on team power button fingerprint scanner. Team name pending. The longer I use this device, the more I see slight improvements over the Snapdragon 888. First, I actually have 5G on T-Mobile, which is a huge win in my book, even though it's sparse due to the network bands it supports. And second, apps like Jurassic World Alive that would take minutes to install only took around 60 seconds, if that. So far, so good. Next thing I did was change the refresh rate from automatic to the full 144 available. This is so I can push the screen and battery to its full potential. After all that, I have to say that the look, feel, and performance of this phone definitely feels premium. The 6.7 inch OLED panel with a centered punch hole and a 144 hertz refresh rate does make viewing videos in 4K enjoyable. The downside is most apps like Netflix cap out at about full HD 1080p. When available, we can the X30 is also equipped with Wi-Fi 6, which is the latest Wi-Fi standard. Along with the 567Hz touch sampling rate on this phone and the HDR10+, this handset is nearly perfect for streaming and cloud gaming. The triple camera rear setup with the 50 megapixel main sensor doesn't do too bad for daily photos and videos. This goes for the 60 megapixel front facing camera as well, which will do good for some social media and the like. It won't give your Pixel or iPhone a run for the money, but I have no complaints here. In tow, the 5000 mAh battery, even with heavy social media usage and the refresh rate at 144, took almost two days to kill, yet charges to about 35% in 15 minutes and back to 100% in about 50 minutes. The X30 also has some features including a desktop mode, which is really good, object recognition, which is fair, and a split screen feature that can be activated easily by swiping the side mounted fingerprint scanner. Also, all of your favorite motor motions are here, so that's just top to flashlight and twist to camera. Oh, 
A full call quality, I'm told, was crisp, clear, with no issues. This is still a phone at the end of the day. Overall, I feel this phone is a steal at 600 bucks, brand new. With that said, I've been Thelonious Chunk, and I'll be back with more snacks.